Today we want to explain to you the specific functions of our dressage model Cortina. Therefore we present you the top line of a modern sports horse with a moderate length in width, a very good base and then a slightly rising back line to the crew. You see the marked areas on the horse, this is the shoulder blade where the gullet would be placed just behind. Then you see marked deepest point of the top line where you have a falling line to here and then a rising line. And then the function we want to support is stretch between middle of the back and middle of the neck. Therefore, our aim is to place the rider's weight on the base of the riders where the horse can carry weight easily. According to the philosophy of Amerigo, we need the same shape in the saddle than we have in the top line. Means the first key distance is from the shoulder blade to the deepest point, which means from head iron to the deepest point and then the right angle to the rising back line, not to interfere with the swinging forward hind. If we stick the saddle on top, So you see position of the, of the head iron. Then you see a distance to the deepest point of the saddle, which corresponds with the distance between shoulder and deepest point of the top line. Then here you see a very nice moderate angle adapted to the rising line of the croup without interfering with the hind. It's also very important that we provide the rider with the positioning of the hips as he would stand on the ground. It means that we achieve the, the, the balance line of ear, shoulder, hip, heel. You also see that we usually have three long billets on our dressage saddles. We do that to increase the flexibility to get the right position on the sternum of the girth. On this horse, you see, it could be here. So it means that we can use the second and the third billet for that.